Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Great Awakening Generator. I'm your host, Rose McNair, and I have with me Chantal French. Welcome. Good morning, Chantal. Good morning, Rose. How are you? I'm good, thanks. And how are you? Good, good, good. Looking so, very energized, and please tell me where you are so that everybody else can know. <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, currently in Wangwata, New Zealand, so i um, come down for a soul journey retreat. I'm co-hosting with Cara this weekend. We've got some beautiful souls joining us at this wonderful location for the weekend, um, discovering their soul and their journey and discovering energetics. So it's a pretty really amazing weekend. Can't wait to, to get involved with that. So yeah, early morning drive for me this morning to go through some fog and stuff, some chaos, and to end up at this beautiful place is, is amazing. So. Well, well, thank you so much. I didn't realize earlier, as I said, that you were driving down this morning and it's really good. And we really appreciate you being here to do another live transmission with us. Yeah. And, um, you know, and I'm, and I'm just looking at the scenery. I've been to Wangamata. It's an awesome place. And um, yeah, so good to show a little bit of New Zealand in this live transmission. I'm yeah. so happy. <laughs> So yeah, absorb the energy, guys. This uh, Coromandel, so Coromandel, New Zealand, along with Tar. There's a lot of energy in the place. There's a lot of uh, uh, ancestral history and energy here. So a lot of Maori history, a lot of Maori energy. So um, we'll be using that today in our in our little group treatment. So yes. bring it on. <laughs> Absolutely bring it on because wherever you go in New Zealand, you will you will sense the energy of the native peoples. It's an it's just amazing. We love it. All right, so Chantal, let's get going. How how um, are we progressing today? <laughs> oh, so what are we going to chat about? What, what's the topic today? Or okay. What's happening this week? Okay, so I thought about that and I thought, what, you know, because when we spoke about what we're going to talk about, we didn't we didn't choose a topic because we want to go as, as it goes now, right? We want it to flow yeah. as it goes now. And I thought about, okay, so what do I do here and how how do we, we navigate it and what are we going to talk about? But one thing that's come to mind in the last 48 hours for me is that the energy this week has been rather fragmented. Yes. Oh, and... you... I was like, oh my God, <laughs> it's quite chaotic out there. <laughs> it's been chaotic. I think even within yourself, it's yeah. you're doing everything to maintain balance, but you're just feeling a little bit unbalanced, right? Yeah. And so... Anyway, so with that in mind, I got today, like I was saying, I woke up this morning hearing a mantra. I've been hearing the Karage Vasate mantra in my head. And that in that and, and that was there. And I played it and I lit the incense as I do in the morning and I and I brought the positive energy in and I prayed to the sun. And then I heard that I need to bring in a couple of cards. Okay, so that's for this fragmented energy. I thought I'm gonna look to guidance using yeah. this tool the cards i thought it was going to be one card however yeah. i've been given I, when i open my box where all my cards are uh, at rest. <laughs> I, love, I love cards i've got packs of them i love them yeah, yeah. yeah i forget to use them and sometimes you know you yeah. come to it and then you think well okay well maybe i need to be using it now i thought i would read so i got i i, I looked in the box and i was led to the whispers of healing oracle deck this one here, I'm going to put it up there. And this one is by Angela Hartfield. And I thought it was going to be one card, one deck, but no, this one here, the Archangel Metatron yes. uh, Self Mastery Oracle card. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, this is by Amanda Ellis, by the way. And I pulled, now I tell you what, Amanda speaks a lot. So I tried to get cards out of there and I had like five falling out. And I said, well, no, no, come on, guys, you've got to give me one card. Okay. <laughs> And so the cards that came out, very yeah. interestingly enough, I'm gonna. I was gonna go for, tell you first about the whispers of healing, but I feel that it needs to come second for whatever okay. reason, right? Yeah, we go. The card, the, <laughs> <laughs> the card that came out from the Archangel Metatron deck is this one. It is the New Dawn Welcome Back card. Ooh. Look at where you are. Yeah, beautiful <laughs> dawn this morning. It was an amazing sunrise actually driving down. So yeah, yeah. I can only imagine. And it was an amazing sunrise for us as well. This card is a number 10 card in the deck. Oh. And that's nice. why I said to you earlier when you said codes, I said 10. 10. Okay. So it's a number 10 card. And I'm going to read, I mean, she writes a whole story, but I'm just going to read the, the like a synopsis of it, which is what it gives you. Because remember the number 10 leads to if you if you do the numerology on it it's a number one because one, plus one. Zero I was say one. 10 as well. so it's like whoa it's yes. a beginning 
Okay. Yes, a beginning, right? So this card is the number 10 card. It's New Dawn and it says, welcome back. Oh, welcome back. The journey has been long and the challenge is hard, but you come now to the end of these difficulties, ready to start anew. I feel like this so it's so loaded, that message. Yes. For us, for what's going on in our world as a collective, for us individually, for the fact that you've just taken a journey, I'm sure that it's been a beautiful journey. Yeah. But, you know, who knows, right? And, and we're taking on this, you know, down here, a retreat this weekend as a soul journey. So these ladies that are coming through have never experienced energetic work. So this is going to be a huge awakening for them. So definitely a perfect card for today. Perfect so. confirmation. I was thinking yeah. about them too at the retreat down there. Yeah. Right. This card that's the, coming out of the Whispers of Healing um, Oracle deck is <clears throat> that card called the Guardian. Oh, yes. <laughs> and there we go. You've got an angel fairy looking down at a ship, a light on the sea, all right? Yeah. Uh, but, but there's a person on it full of light looking up at this Guardian angel yeah. on here, right? So I apologize for any noise you might hear. The messenger has just arrived and the dog is barking. So let's put myself on mute for a second. Yes. Interesting how the card, guardian card came up because uh, I use my guardians all the time for anything. Um, yeah, so I've actually called them in today. So, yeah, I've got a, a massive guardian and gatekeeper. So Right. Absolutely. Yeah, that's just, They'll be around. You probably, if you can see them, they'll be um, around. Um, yeah. yeah. I'm so. really, my desire is to see them because I didn't see them last week. Just tell you. Know. <laughs> so I, I, I'm probably going to get my wish today. So yeah. I'll read about this card before and then we'll carry on. So this okay. is called the Guardian card. It is a number 44 card. Ooh. I leave that with you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this card indicates communication with your guardian angel or spirit guide. No matter what is going on in your life, you have angels and guardian spirits with you. You have an innate ability to connect with the spiritual energy that surrounds you. Don't yeah. wait to be in crisis or an extreme situation before you connect to your spirit guides. You can ask them for guidance on almost anything. Your angels and guardians are here for you, but they cannot intervene unless you ask for their support and guidance. They cannot interfere with your free will, but when you ask for their support, the outcome is often better than you imagined. Yeah. Be receptive and open to receiving guidance. Be approachable. Having an open attitude will help you to feel the love and support your guides have on offer. Messages can come in many forms. You may notice recurring numbers, a specific flower, butterflies or dragonflies. Your message might come through a song or you may start finding feathers or coins. These are just some of the many ways you can receive guidance. Once you begin acknowledging these messages, it will help you feel peaceful and shift your energy from negative to positive. A beautiful goddess looks lovingly at a smaller woman who is sitting on the side of a ship. The lotuses filling the water, water signify wisdom. That's the card. Signifies wisdom and spiritual enlightenment. Oh. Partially open lotus flowers represent a soul that is still opening to its beauty and spiritual guidance on offer. The starlight and purple shades suggest the presence of protective guardian angels. Everyone can use a little bit of extra help or support. You are asked, it will finish soon, to request, you are asked to request extra guidance to be open and to trust. The outcome may not be immediately apparent, but be assured. The confusion will pass and peace will be regained. I know that was a little bit long, but I needed to read that whole one. It's beautiful and, I, and it's so true. It's so true. And the last bit's about pulling in your energy. The confusion will pass. Yes. Yes. And so, so that's why I feel really blessed by having received both those cards and this one just expressed everything that yeah. we're going through. Yeah, definitely. And that's what, how we, well, that's how I work. I call them in, my guardians and, and yeah, that's, and we're a messenger. I'm always asking for stuff and they can't, 
they can't express how they feel without us. So we're their voice as well. So yeah, ask away and That's ask right. for help. Yeah. And I've been noticing all sorts of bits and pieces lately and um yeah, lots of spirit animals, lots of animals, lots of yeah. So look for signs. Definitely look, look for signs. For signs. Search mm-hmm. out what that means. And it's quite amazing what when they appear, what time they appear, uh like double numbers in the time. I write that down. What does that mean? Um, what did you see at the time? What were you hearing? And those are those are messages from your guides. So um yeah. Yeah. What an amazing card to get out today. So <laughs> what an amazing card. You know, you you just cannot get this wrong. Yeah. How does it get any better than this? Is what we, you know, Michael Sandler always uses that line. How does it get any better than this? Yeah. How does it get any better than this? Okay, so I'm gonna put myself on mute and let you take the stand, lady. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, oh, just one thing, one yeah. thing, just one thing. Remember this thing about in this, they were talking about women sitting and looking up at this guardian angel. Yes. And this Saraswati and 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 um Lakshmi energy from that mantra. It's another confirmation. Sorry, didn't mean to say that, but there you go. Okay, so um I'm talking about guardians, and I look up to my guardian who's um, obviously Jashikta is one of them. Um and so they're in knowledge. So that card is in wisdom. Jashikta means knowledge, and they are so wise, and that's why I call upon for my wisdom and my teachings. And so it is so true. They they've taught me so much over the last couple of years. So yes. um perfect card um so today what we're going to do is our mini treatment so if you're on if you're on zoom check in the in the chat and what you like me to work on or focus on um and we'll go from there um and if you experience anything during the treatment and stuff like that please please put on the chat because um i know people can can hear and see and some others can't um so chuck it in there it just makes the experience amazing for everybody um Yeah. Please, please use that chat as an interactive um, thing so we can have an, an all an amazing experience. So what I'm going to do today is I'm just going to do the basics, uh, start with the basics um, so that we've got new listeners that they can feel the energy. So I'm going to send some energy to start off with. Um, then I'm going to go into a code and um, hopefully I'll get Rose to write down this code and possibly put it in the chat. So um, code work is, uh, is one of my best tools. I love it. They are so powerful. And it's a numbers day, day today because yeah. we've got, you know, uh, 10, card number 10, card number 44. So definitely we're in the numbers. So we'll, we'll do a code today. So how codes work, I'll explain how they work before we get into the nitty gritty of it. So codes to me as I'm, I'm just a channel of frequency and energy for um, whoever wants to help. So I've called in my angels and called in source and called in our guardians, called in my ancestors, called in all the healing um, healers around the universe to come and help. So they'll just use my body as a conduit of energy. So I don't know what's going to happen or whatever comes through. Okay, I'm just I'm just a tool. So they'll use my hands and they'll use my body as a tool. And, and with that, I can feel the energy and I'm going to alchemize the energy. So I'm going to transform the energy. So it's going to go from a negative state to a more positive state. So that's what we do with codes. And each time the frequency changes or the feeling state changes, I give that a number. Okay. And by the end of it, you'll have a, a decent sized number. And they can be quick codes. So I can put them out pretty quickly. Or I like actually sitting in the energy for a while and then creating the code. So the code for me can take, it can take me up to an hour to create a really deep, deep code. Um, but today we've only got like 10 minutes. So we'll put a nice deep medium code. Um, still very, very powerful. So I'm just going to ask them to channel through the energy a bit faster um, so we can get into it. Um, so what you use with the code, when you when you see it written down, you can actually read it. It's a bit like an affirmation. So I get my clients to read the code or write it out, put it on the fridge or something so that you can see the code. And when you read it, you can just read it out or, or absorb it or say it, or you can feel each feeling state of the, each digit of the code. And you'll feel the energy pathway change. So, uh, so the code just rep- represents a pathway of energy change, um, going from a negative state to a positive state. That's the ending. And sometimes I'll give those codes an ending um, a feeling state um, and maybe a beginning state as well. It just depends what comes out, what I can feel, or what the guides are telling me to do. Uh, so that's what a code is, and they're um, super, super powerful. I did a couple last night. Um, one is for a, a young kid in Sweden. You know, he's um, 
struggling with a uh, cough, so I did a coat for him. Uh, another one last night was, uh, fortunately, my husband, he's uh, crashed off his motorbike because there's a lot of pain over in Australia, so I was tuning into him to do a code for that as well. So I, codes are great. I just tune into uh, and train with people's energy, and, and we come up with an antidote code. That's what, what it is, so that's what I'm asking for. So let's get going. So we'll start with just sending pure energy to you guys. So I'm just going to open up all the channels and allow the life force to come through you through me to you sorry and so what we're going to do is go into a receiving pose so basically hands up is the best form or you just don't have to if you can receive energy just chill out um, but for those who are new hands up just receiving pose so on your lap nice and relaxed and you'll feel the pins and needles coming through your hands and i'm just going to open up with um i'm going to call it uh, source energy so basically Pangu, I'm going to use Pangu's energy, who's the one of the creators are calling them in, so we can just open up all the channels for beautiful life force and chi, okay? So, and I'm just going to open up with the passcode, so take kindness and benevolence as basis, take frankness and friendliness to heart, speak with reason, treat with courtesy, act with devotion and accomplish. Results. Take kindness and benevolence as basis. Take frankness and friendliness to heart. Speak with reason. Treat with courtesy. Act with passion and results. And again, take kindness and benevolence as basis. Take frankness and friendliness to heart. Speak with reason. Treat with and Act results so basically i'm pushing some chi or life force up through your hands into your chest into your heart area and the body will know what to do with it okay it loves the energy and it's your body i can heal itself so it, it just takes this energy and it'll go wherever it needs to go so you might feel it in your big toe buzzing away um you might see colors you might see anything yeah anything's possible especially with me so um yeah just just relax into it feel the energy flow into the body and if you want something to be worked on, focus on that point in the body and the energy will go there. So um, if you've got a sore hip or knee, focus on that and feel the energy go there. You might feel warm sensations, you might feel cool sensations, you might feel pins and needles, you might feel things like knitting together. It's quite common, it like, feels like it. Um, and then you might visualize things, so you, you might be some emotion attached to that. Um, because failed state but um, negative states there might be some emotion there some trauma so just feel into that what's coming up let it process okay let the visions come through let the emotions come up okay let them process and that will help heal that particular area so how's it going rose it's going great and great it's going yeah. great yeah yeah <laughs> we'll do we will do a debrief i promise <laughs> okay and uh so if you guys got stuff in the chat i'm just going to put it on my magic clipboard um you guys will be used to me doing that now so what i do is i absorb or entrain with your energy and we're just gonna uh, put that on the clipboard and anyone who's watching this in the future also um, i'll entrain with their energy as well and um, we'll just put that in the, on the clipboard so i'm just gonna ask rose what would you what would you like to work on today so we're requesting for um uh, healing in the Achilles tendons, Achilles okay. tendons, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. And the wrists, yeah. And the wrists, okay, yes. so put those in there. Mm, yeah, and I've, I've got a, another request for um, backache here on the phone. Back here? Um, oh. Yeah, so oh, um, yeah. just lower back, a lot of lower back pain. Uh, there's actually oh. two people that need this, okay. and these people are both in South Africa, so yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, well, so we're putting those on the clipboard. So backache, uh, arc, least tendons, a tightness. So there's a lot of tension in the body by the feels of it. So put Sounds that on there. Uh, I'll also put um, a little boy from Sweden who contacted me last night. So I put him on there for his chest. He's got a dry cough, so we'll put that on there. And also uh, for the guys <laughs> on their motorbike camp, um, falling off, I'll put that on there as well. So to help those guys. And what else have we got? I've also got some rugby guys who are feeling injured. Yeah. You know, first start of the season so we'll put that in there as well so okay anything else i'm just putting it all in there 
One more, please. One more, sorry. Yeah. The astrologer, Pam Gregory, um, was just, I listened to one of her podcasts and she was asking for healing. Yeah. Um, she had some a knee injury last year and went through a lot of um, stuff and then eventually got energy healing and got well. And then something else, she's injured herself again in the yeah. last uh, couple of months and she's looking for healing because she was going to do some surgery and has chosen not to do that and go the alternative way. So it's Pam Gregory, the astrologer. Um, and yeah, we, we definitely want to send out healing to her. Definitely. Okay. So she's definitely on the max. Okay. I've just called on all my guides and stuff. I can feel them coming in. So we've got our source lab coming in. So Pengu, we've got Jashita with the wisdom coming through and healing. Uh, obviously my blue beans, everybody loves my blue beans. So if you can see them, <laughs> please shout out. They're coming in. Um, and anybody else on my guides. So if you guys can see, please comment. Um, you might be able to see some of my guides. I only have like an American Indian hanging around me or a uh, uh, quite a few spirit animals and also, um, yeah, the blue beans and others. So, um, yeah. All right, so I've collected all this energy up now. I've put it what we call emotional soup or in the soup of stuff. Now, as I go through the codes, you, you might feel things, might not feel anything, but then one particular number might connect to you so I'm just going to ask for the antidote code for all this stuff okay first digit is six okay so here I am I'm just gonna allow my body to be a tool and allow the guides spirit my ancestors to come through and my healing guides how was that and the body it's really slow moving at one. I'm going to back so you can see my hands what they're actually doing because it's actually pretty awesome to watch sometimes. My body does all sorts of weird, wonderful things. So it's quite thick at the moment. Okay, we're changing now, the energy's changing. Changing to three. So three. So um stagnant energy is just it's like a dense energy and what we're trying to do is create movement. So we're gonna this is what this is all about. Another one Beautiful expansion energy. Wow. Don't forget we've also got the energy of the Coromandel helping us, the energy of the beach, us, the ancestors of the arm mantle to come through and on my tower. So very powerful energy here. So it's beautiful energy. Just keeps on to move. Great. So my hands are buzzing like anything, guys. So I hope you're feeling it. You're seeing things. All right, energy is changing. It's a lot finer. There's like red, colored red going through.
Energy changing again. Zero. Sometimes it's a, a different form of energy, the zero. Yeah, interesting one. If you're feeling it, just let it slow in the chat. If you're seeing anything, emotions come up. I feel like we're harmonizing something here, so it's right. Expanding. I feel like I'm flexing, so this is uh, obviously we've got a lot of ligament, muscle, skeletal problems today, so feeling like I'm stretching all those. Good. Energy is so beautiful to work with, it just flows beautifully feels amazing to work with. And anybody can do it, by the way. I was uh, off an energy worker and changing again. Six. You, know, you might find bits of the parts of the body buzzing away, uh, particularly the organs, so the energetic cavities of the body, you name them after the organs, so like the liver, organ of interest. Uh, today, the kidneys and the adrenals, okay, a lot of stress out there, uh, anxiety out there. The scatteredness, so that coming from the adrenals, just being overloaded. So we just give them that's what it feels like working on. And they can cause uh, like back pain as well. So and they're also our uh, chi generators. So we've got to look after our kidneys because they're the ones that produce our life force or help transform the energy of the environment let's say into life force so into that innate energy that we've got that, that spark that we've got in us um, through food or through the sun beautiful sun is a great way walking on the beach is a perfect way of fire hacking um, getting the energy into the body and then the kidneys will use it got a nice cheap water happening here so Changing again, changing state. Three. I've got time here. Look so. energy. Ooh. Feeling quite tall now, guys. So it's great. Rolling energy, wow. Nine. It's becoming closer to my nine. So, guys, the Come through and speed it up a bit. The energy moving.
code is completed. I'm just going to try and find a name for it. I keep getting the word saviour. So there you go. Saviour is the, the code name. Something different. <laughs> you never know what you get. Okay, so that code, as I mentioned before, is like a, use it like an affirmation if we wrote, wrote that down somewhere. Put the code, yep. Um, and basically, yeah, read it out, say it out aloud, or feel into each digit and you'll feel the energy state change. Um, so I'd just like to thank everybody coming along today. Thank all our guides and this beautiful place in the Coromandel of New Zealand, Wangata, um, for the energy today. Um, it, was, it was beautiful to work with. Wow, thank you so much. Wow, that was loaded. It was loaded? <laughs> I love it. That was loaded. Okay. <laughs> I, just, I just want to say, uh, I'll read out the code again. 637063 is what I got. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, anybody watching, you can confirm that too, because I was what I was listening. I was taking down the code number as numbers as they were coming out of Chantel. And also, um, Savior, like yeah. you're saying, Savior, that's a very interesting, it's a very interesting uh, word at the moment, you know, and it, I find that it's um, uh, Sunday is Pentecost Sunday in church. Okay. And if you think about the the meaning of Pentecost and what had happened at the time, and um, you know we don't we don't go with everything, but there are certain things that are apt for us, you know. Um, yeah, so I just feel like that that just seems so apt. Um, oh, good. Anyway, <laughs> seems so apt for for it. Uh, Want to say anything before we go? No, I just thank everybody for coming along. Uh, it's great to have the. Um... You know, interactive stuff. I love it. I absolutely love it. So please come back and we'll be uh, changing things next week, slightly technical, but um, yeah, we'll let everybody know. Um, yes. Thank you, Rose, for allowing me to do this with everybody. Thank you, everybody, uh, for coming on board. Um, yeah. Okay. Oh. Well, what have you got coming through? <laughs> I, um, I just want to say, uh, oh, God, I feel really... There's this weird um, gut feeling, like a you know a sickness in the gut feeling. So if anybody, I'm just feeling that that was there. Also had some movement up the spine, and I needed to say that because I need to share that because somebody is going to resonate with that. Yeah. Um, and before you actually started, I had a whole heap of energy go right through me that I was going a little bit sway sway, you know? <laughs> <laughs> sway sway. Um, calling everybody on. <laughs> so it's a lot of energy. I feel tinglings in my f fingers as well. Um, and um, I'm, and you can see I'm sort of sort of feeling a little bit stuck for words. Um, but I want to thank you all for. I am thanking you all for for joining us here, whether you are in the live transmission live or whether you catch it later on. Um, we will we will put some links um to Chant how you can contact Chantal in the description box as we always do and i will put it on there um you know get in touch if you um if you want to be in t if you want more of this on a personal level because that's what Chantal offers and i want yeah. to say to all of you thank you again for understanding about our technology and understanding that we are fairly new well, I am yeah. fairly new at this, and I always say technologically challenged. I even surprised yeah. myself that I've come this far. So, guys, <laughs> thank you so much for your understanding. Want to explain when I am on mute and Chantal is doing this, because I think I might have done it last week, and I'm saying things, or I look like I'm blowing, through, or I'm whistling. It's because I'm whistling, and because I am breathing like that, and because quite often when she's doing a work, I suddenly have language coming through. But this is for me, and it's not necessarily for the collective so that is why i'm doing that in the, in the recording so chantal anything yeah. else you want to say before we say goodbye to everybody no yes. just thanks everybody um you can find me obviously uh energy alchemist um find me on my website uh bioenergetics because i work with energy of the body so that's why it's bioenergetics um with the x on the end because i'm extraordinary um and not code in there because i'm from down under in new zealand so um yeah, thank you everybody. Find me on there. I do body scans with technology from voice apps through to what we've done today 
um, what is scanning through and claimants of energy. So I work around all over around the world. So if this is not for you, if you don't like the entrainment, I've certainly got other technology that we can use and do body scans. Yes, yes. That, that might align more with science and uh, electronics yeah. and things like that. So do check out the website. Yeah. Because awesome. I think you'll be, you'll be quite fascinated with what Chantal offers. What we offer. This is like high-end yeah. stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right. but yes, thanks for allowing me to, to work with you. And uh, thank you, Rose, for inviting me on to your channel. Yeah. You're so yeah. very welcome here. And, you know, thank you so much for all that you're doing because you were driving there this morning to get on get there on time so that you can be here for us and i'm just loving i love your energy and i love you for your for the work and i love you for your generosity and you know just so much love to you and to kara and to everybody at the retreat that you're going yeah. to have you're having this weekend in the beautiful wangamata in yeah. here in the land down under the land down under our beautiful yeah. new zealand <laughs> on a winter's day so yeah email, oh, long may it continue how yes. does it get any better than this yeah. i'm gonna choose to steal that line from michael sandler yeah thank you so much everyone thank you for joining us catch you next week yeah. namaste yeah, yeah. okay